Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous, and I am back today with another episode of r slash Entitled People. My auntie hates me because I bullied her. Disclaimer. Hey, so I'm not sure if this should be here. Please let me know if it doesn't. I just felt like it was the best place. Also, writing on mobile, so I apologize if the formatting is jacked. So, this happened a few days ago, and I can't get over this. So, my nana on my dad's side is seriously ill, so we go visit her home every so often. We don't want to go too much because she'll know something's wrong. And the only person who has the time to care for her is her daughter, my auntie. Me and Auntie Nancy, changed for obvious reasons, have been sorta of close all my life. Going shopping whenever we can, having coffee together, you name it. And whenever we go shopping, she almost always pays despite me trying and offering to buy things or pay for her coffee and such. We also have a strange dynamic. We constantly bicker and joke on. She's called me ugly, fat, and made fun of my clothes, and I do the same. I used to take what she said to heart, but I stopped because I understood she didn't mean it. Now, this has been our usual thing for a few years, since I was probably about 13 or 14. I'm 20 now and she's never said anything negative about it. About three or four weeks ago, we were at a party for my niece's first birthday, and Nancy sat with us and we were doing our usual thing of having an actual conversation with a little jab here and there. Saying we were in need of a shopping trip, I jokingly said something like, If it's your money we're spending, then sure. I need to stress that it was perfectly obvious that what I said was a joke. And at one point she called me ugly because I look like her and that was probably the worst of the jabs. Most of the day I wasn't even talking to her but to the rest of my family or my boyfriend, who was meeting most of these people for the first time. At the end of the party, me and said boyfriend decided to get a lift when my dad decided to drop off Nancy and my Nana back home. On the car ride, Nancy refused to buckle her seatbelt because it's only a short ride, and I refused to let her go the whole way untied, so I fought with her about it while trying to buckle her in. My dad's car is quite cramped, so this was difficult, but I finally managed and she didn't say anything. And that was the last I saw of her until last Wednesday, and my god was that a crap show. We went to my nana's and she, my nana, straight away said to my dad that he was in trouble for annoying his sister. Obviously, we're confused and asked what he had done and allegedly, my father had called Nancy fat and ugly because Nancy had asked if he was taking pictures or a video of the party when all he was doing was checking the pictures on the camera. My dad never said this and never would. And when we, my mother and me, went to defend him, she said that I wasn't innocent either calling me a bully for calling her the exact same things she calls me and a spiteful brat for wanting to drain her of all her money. I also hurt her neck because of the car ride where I made her buckle in, so I'm the bad guy for caring about her safety? This woman is well into her 50s and she's acting like a spoiled brat, twisting my words and others for no reason at all. And honestly, this isn't the first time she's done something like this, but this is the first time that I've realized that she genuinely doesn't care about me, and I think that's why it's hitting me so hard. This woman I admired for being strong while being alienated at work because she spoke her mind, for not conforming to societal norms, doesn't believe I'm worth her time and effort. Sorry if this ended up super long, I needed to vent this out, as if I haven't already and shout in the void. And if any YouTube channel has decided to pick this up, well, I'm honored you picked this crappy story. Yay, we're here. We're listening to your story. <laughs> okay, so this is one of those things like, I personally am not the best at, is understanding like when people are gonna take things sensitively. But I do, <laughs> I do personally have an aunt of my own who, does that kind of thing where they seem like really generous or whatever and they won't like let you help out or whatever but then all of a sudden get really offended and bring up all the times you didn't help them or all the things you ever said like it doesn't even make sense and it comes out of nowhere so i i can definitely understand that i'm really sorry that you know you feel like maybe they don't love you i don't know if 
that's true. Maybe just that sometimes they're, you know, kind of petty. Maybe they're just not the, the magical, amazing, perfect person you thought of them. I don't know. But I'm sorry that she's doing that to you and that's really frustrating. Entitled man throws tantrum when asked not to curse in front of children. I used to work retail in a mall store and I had my occasional run-ins with entitled people and parents now and again. This was an incident that always stuck in my mind. Cast, me, entitled man, manager, actually useless assistant manager. Now, the store I was working at catered to a variety of ages. We carried stuff for kids as well as adults. So when we were busy, we could have young children in the store alone or with their parents. On one such day, when there were a few families shopping around, there was a man on his Bluetooth talking with someone. Now, normally that wouldn't be a problem, except whatever the man was talking about, he was dropping F-bombs quite liberally. In front of everyone, including young children, some under 10 years old. Now, I don't know about every store, but we at least tried to seem family friendly, so my manager thumbed me over to ask the man to stop cursing, so I did. I approached him and waved, apologizing for disturbing his call, and politely asked him if he could not curse in the store because we had young children around. Normally, someone I would ask this would apologize, or at worst, roll their eyes but stop cursing. But this man? He looked at me like I just insulted his mother and got up in my face. He started cursing at me, telling me to shut the F up, and that he could do whatever he wanted, and that kids nowadays already know curse words and say them all the time. I stand firmly and politely say that even so, this was a family store and if he could please not curse. That's when he started chesting up to me and asking what I was gonna do about it if he didn't stop. Would I kick him out? He was testing me. I knew that, and if I said I wouldn't kick him out, he would just tell me to F off and keep doing it, so I was honest. I said that if he didn't stop, he would be asked to leave. He proceeded to throw the adult version of a temper tantrum. He grabbed a product off the shelf and threw it on the floor at my feet. He started pacing around the floor talking about he was a grown butt man and he could do whatever he wanted. He then proceeded to tell me he refused to leave and the only way he would leave was if security forced him out. It was then I decided to take that very suggestion and call mall security, advising them I had an irate customer who had been asked to leave and was refusing and now seemed like he could turn violent, which I was afraid he really could have. It took them five minutes to finally arrive, the entire time he continued cursing at the top of his lungs, talking to me and calling me names, talking about me like I wasn't there, telling me he again was a grown butt man and could do what he wanted, and then accused me of being racist. He was black and I was white. I finally had to call security again and tell them to please hurry as the man was getting belligerent. Finally they arrived, but he continued to throw his tantrum, walking out of the store and then turning and shouting in through the doors, cursing at the top of his lungs, and smugly stating that there wasn't anything they could do now because he was cursing outside the store. Again, this was a mall, so they eventually had to kick him out entirely when he proved his bruised ego was more important than common sense. The best part after all this? Remember that useless assistant manager I mentioned who wanted me to talk to him in the first place? Once everything settled down, she comes up to me and says, I'm glad security arrived when they did. I was five seconds from asking him to leave myself. Cue biggest eye roll from me. Anyway, thanks for listening. No big ending other than an eye roll. I don't even think police were called. They just wanted to try and get the man to stop his tantrum as peacefully as possible. This isn't the only time I've dealt with entitled people either, but maybe I'll post more some other time. You gotta love how he's in a mall. <laughs> and he thinks because he's in a mall, he can now continue to shout outside the storefront like, no. No, no, that's not how this works. No. Oh my gosh. And even, okay, for example, if he was at a store that was not in a mall, which in the mall, he definitely needs to pay attention to his behavior because the mall security is for all the mall. And obviously, if he's inside the mall and he continues to cause a problem, they're going to remove him. But say that he was outside of the store 
and he was screaming and yelling and stuff like that, if he was on their property, the police could still come and get rid of him, basically, because he was causing a public nuisance, I believe. Um, especially if it was still on their property. I think if he was off their property, the police probably would just kind of stand out there and make sure he wasn't hurting anybody, as long as he didn't, like, threaten anybody. I think that's how that works. Anyway... Entitled uncle and cousin think they deserve more money from my grandpa. So, backstory. I'm 20, female, and I've been raised by my grandparents my whole life. So, for more than half of my life, my grandpa has been the sole provider for me. I didn't always have the best clothes, but I always had food, a roof over my head, and a place to sleep. I've spent the good part of the last 8 years taking care of my 93-year-old aunt as well as my grandpa. I've never asked for anything out of them. They helped raise me, so I'm returning the favor now. Cast, my sweet 93-year-old aunt, S.A. Me, entitled uncle, E.U., entitled aunt, E.A., and entitled cousin, E.C. Now, enter entitled uncle and his entitled family, entitled aunt, and entitled cousin. Entitled cousin has been a pain in the rear since I was little. She is six or seven years older than me, but still can't hold a job. During holidays, she would get upset if the family talked to me more. I was a kid with a short attention span and constantly talked. She got upset if I got more gifts at Christmas, and she would routinely steal from me to make things even. This got a lot worse once my grandmother died, and it turned into my entitled cousin basically hating my very existence. Entitled aunt is much the same as her brat of a kid. She despises me because I'm seen as the golden child. She has told Entitled Uncle multiple times that I shouldn't be in my grandpa's will and that I didn't deserve to be raised by my grandparents at all. Now, Entitled Uncle is the worst, and here is where the worst story lies. He found out I was in my grandpa's will and that things would be split four ways between me and the three boys, Entitled Uncle, my other uncle, and my dad. He also demanded to know about Sweet Aunt's will, in which I would get her home and half of her estate. He demanded to know why Entitled Cousin wasn't in any of the wills. She hadn't really spent a whole lot of time with them. According to him, I'm only here because my grandparents felt bad that my piece of crap parents didn't want me. He demanded that I either be removed completely or Entitled Cousin be added and that my portion of the estate would be split 50-50 with her. For the record too, Entitled Uncle works for the State Railroad and makes amazing money more than either of his brothers. Entitled Aunt is on disabilities and earns enough to go gambling at least once a month. Entitled Cousin can't hold a job but gets help from her parents and boyfriend. Among this, they only visit Sweet Aunt and Grandpa during Thanksgiving and Christmas. They never go out of their way to do anything for either of them. And Entitled Cousin has lived in another state for the past six or seven years without a visit home. So far, my grandpa has refused to change anything, but I still cannot believe that they think they're entitled to more of my grandpa's money when they don't do anything for him or my aunt. I might seem petty, but I don't think they deserve more than anyone else in the will. Yeah, in my opinion, they... Mm, I'm just saying they're lucky they're in the will. People get nasty when it comes to money, and just... I, <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, like... You just want the money. That's all. That's like that's all you care about. Like you don't you don't even have a good reason why. You're not even like, "Oh, we've come to blah 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 blah. We've gone out of our way." Like, "No, nah, we see you every grand once in a while and we exist. So we deserve more than that person who has dedicated their life to you." Okay. I just I don't know. Whatever. Sorry guys if I'm a little bit off right now. I'm not feeling the greatest, <laughs> but I really wanted to be able to get some videos recorded for you so that way there'd be something coming out from my channel because the college takes a lot of time. So thank you all so much for listening or watching today. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I do want to real quick thank my patrons on the screen. You should see my face palmers. 
in my crazy case <laughs> thank you all so much for being a part and supporting me in that way if you're interested in becoming a patron you can check out the description box i believe it's also on the end screen and if you want to send in a story to me for consideration for a video you can send it to ksanonymous at gmail.com that is also in the description box i will be talking to you in my next video bye